In this tip, I'm going to teach you about the new move command that was added in version 13. Let's begin by moving this rectangle. There are two ways to get into the move command. You can right click and select move, or you can select modify and move. There are two ways to specify the distance that the object will move. You can enter delta x and delta y, or the distance and angle. I'm going to move it 10 units to the right, so I'm going to enter 10 here and press apply. So notice it moved 10. If I press apply again, it moves another 10. The window remembers the distance from your last move. So if I come in again, it still says 10. I press apply, it still moves that another 10 over to the right. It also remembers when you move things by hand. So if I move this down and to the right, go back into move. It's gone down. It shows that I went down 20. I went over 20 and down 20. If I press apply again, it'll move that amount. Another way is to use the measuring tool. For instance, if I want to move this corner and align it directly with that corner, I can use the measuring tool by starting here and ending here. Press escape to get out of the measuring tool. Right click on polygon and press move. The numbers for that measurement are in here. I press apply and now we're automatically aligned. You can also use this tool to move points. So let's select some points. Modify move. And we'll move them up. Uh, move them up 40 points. Another nice use of this tool is to make a raise. So let's delete all this. Let's make a new let's make a new a new square over here. Let's say we want to move we want the raise to be spaced about like that. So we'll do that and do control Z. That'll remember the distance that we just that we just did. Go into move. The distance is there. Push Make Copy, select Make Copy, and then keep applying until you have the number that you want to make. We'll just do three in this case. Now let's select those three, move them down the amount that we want them to be separated by. Hit Control Z to undo that. Do Move. So now it's got the minus 40. Make Copy, and we'll hit the Apply button twice more, and we now have an array. You can also use the Make a Copy option in other Modify commands. We'll use Make a Copy and Rotate to make a ring of evenly spaced vias just inside a large circular pad. First, move the local origin so we can use it as a reference. Then, add a circle centered at that local origin. Next, add the via. You can watch the status bar to to get the right Y location. Select Modify Rotate. Select Local Origin as the pivot point. Type 45 degrees. Click Make a Copy and click the Rotate button seven times. Now we'll use Make a Copy with Flip to make a mirror image copy. First we'll make a spiral. with the transmission line. We'll go from the spiral right up to the local origin because that'll be our center point for the flip. Select the whole thing. Go into flip. Select the local origin as the pivot point. Click make a copy and make the flip. For more training videos, visit sonnetsoftware.com slash video.